most broken people. Can be great leaders. Patricia. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. How are you? After the three uh, after the three month recuperation from the injury, how are you? I'm feeling so much better. I'm proud that I'm bringing this movie to you guys. Can you tell us more about the injury? So you had a concussion and dislocated shoulder. Yes. So it was just an unfortunate event that happened on set, but um, thankfully I made it through, got healing, came back stronger made Wakanda forever, and now I'm getting to share it with you guys. So I hope I hope you have a ticket. Yeah, I will tomorrow. Yes. But you look, <laughs> you look wonderful, though. Thank so you. Leticia, warn us. How ready should we be for a woman, Black Panther? Wow, great question. Um, I think, I think November 11th is a great day for everyone to just Grab your friends and family, sit down, and just see what we've been making. Um, it's beautiful, it honors Chad, and jam-packed with a lot of action. New characters, Riri Williams, Namor, everyone's coming together, Michaela Cole. You guys are spoiled. You guys have a great film coming to you. <laughs> I'm sure, and we are all looking forward to that. You, know but you mentioned uh, Chad, and uh, yeah. he, his passing left a big hole in the hearts of everyone. What was it like for you going back into the world of Wakanda, mm -hmm. knowing he's not there? It was so hard. It's, it's, it was so hard, very heartbreaking. But knowing his legacy, um, especially T'Challa, what T'Challa meant to the world and still means to the world was mm -hmm. something that encouraged us to keep moving forward. And um, we're really proud. Leticia, when we lose people, sometimes we like remembering those pockets or moments of joy. Mm. Uh, what memory do you go back to uh, mm. when you miss the man whom you've called your brother? Mm. So many memories. Um, so many memories. But I go back to a one of one of our final scenes together in the Marvel Universe um, was with myself, Chadwick, and Angela Bassett, and it's the, uh, towards the end of End Games when everything's being restored, um, and we're standing on the balcony um, in the Golden City, and we're looking over Wakanda, cheering that the king and the the princess and and Queen Ramonda is back, and just remembering how Chadwick looked at me and he looked at mom and and it was just a beautiful moment and I remember filming that scene and and yeah that that was uh one of my last moments on a on a set with him and yeah I'll, I'll hold it in my heart forever. Do you remember when you found out you were playing Shuri and you were at the bus bus stop? Can yes. you tell us about that? That's a really great story to tell your kids in the future. <laughs> yeah man I was at the bus stop um, on my way to have a meeting about a short film at BAFTAs and in the UK. And at that time, um, you know, I got this call that Ryan Coogler wanted to talk to me a little bit more about the role. And this time I had already been auditioning. Um, so I thought the next call would be, you got the part. But the way they started the conversation was like, oh, he wants to figure out the part a little bit more and it's going to take maybe three months. And I was like, three months? Like, what? what's going on? Am I going to get this part or not? And then they were just like, you booked Shuri in Black Panther. And I was like, wow. And then I remember waiting for the bus, like, wow, like, in a few years, I won't be able to take the bus anymore. <laughs> and you haven't taken the bus since, I'm I, sure. I, I love the bus, but I just can't take the bus. <laughs> I love I'm taking sure. it, yeah, but I just can't. People will be doing this to you. Wakanda no, forever. Yeah, it will just be, there will just be, I won't be able to get off to my stop. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shuri. Wakanda You're welcome. Forever. Wakanda forever.